deployment problems exist in many organizations, due in part with the way architectures are defined. Impediments to communication exist between development and operations organizations. Notes, emails, and spreadsheets are the norm for communicating information. Traditional diagramming tools cause misinterpretations of data. There's no formal data structure for capturing shared information. Data integrity problems when sharing through duplication. Diagrams or spreadsheets are difficult to compose and reuse. Diagram-based architectures are difficult to validate. No enforcement of architectural decisions. Let's take a look at an example. The development organization needs an infrastructure for their application. The operations organization will gladly create one based on the specification. Now the application can be deployed. What went wrong? The application specification was defined, but the infrastructure didn't meet the needs of my application. The needs of the application were not well communicated. The capabilities of the infrastructure were not well communicated. Validation during design would have helped to avoid deployment problems. Discover how the Rational Deployment Architecture Platform can solve your deployment and communication problems by providing IT resource data integrations between development and operations organizations, defining a tooling platform for expressing and communicating semantically rich IT architectures, defining IT resource templates to facilitate reuse and reduce duplication, documenting business and IT deployment needs in a way that can be validated and executed. Available in Rational Software Architect 7.5. Let's take a look at the tool in action. You can start by creating logical structures and leverage your investment in UML component modeling. Automatically derive communication paths from sequence flows and visually see validation statuses with possible resolutions. Deployment templates are easily created by leveraging and placing semantically rich elements from the palette. define constraints between the elements that will be enforced later when reused. You can format and add notes to make it more readable, and you can add additional constraints such as memory capacity constraints. The template is now complete and is shown in the palette and is ready to be team shared. Topologies can be imported into other topologies using drag and drop, and templates are easily found on the palette. Templates are preserved exactly as they were defined. You can refine conceptual elements within a topology using realizations. Application components are easily added to the topology. The topology is constantly validated, which can be demonstrated if the credit server is realized to the DB2.8 system. Note the validation problems. The DB2 system is missing capabilities for JSP container and serverless container, which are required by the credit management web. The needs in the application and the capabilities in the infrastructure are now well communicated. A model of an existing test data center. We target the specific data center by realizing template elements from earlier to create a fully configured deployment topology. Advanced capacity planning can be done as well. The server already has an exclusive capacity restriction leverage against it of 2 gigabytes. We're going to go ahead and add a bit more. Looking at the server again, we see a warning appears showing that the capacity restrictions have been exceeded for the memory size, showing what it should be and where the restrictions are coming from. Rational Software Architect. Deployment Architecture. Connecting Development to Operations.